There are generally three kinds of gas processing plants to get natural gas liquid, NGL, from natural gas. The first kind is the GAT plant, which is suitable for high pressure and rich gas. The second kind is a mechanically refrigerated unit, MRU. The third kind is called a cryo plant, which utilizes cryogenic turbo expander to extract NGL from very lean natural gas. One common process for cryogenic plant is gas subcooled process, GSP, which was patented by Orloff Engineer Limited in the late 1970s. This video will explain how you can model GSP in Premax. The wet natural gas is first dehydrated in a mole sieve to remove water to prevent S formation in cryogenic conditions. Part of the feed is pre-cooled in a residue gas exchanger. And the other part first goes through the C1 reboiler and then the side reboilers and then mix with the first portion at a temperature of negative 28 Fahrenheit. Together, the gas is fed into the low temperature separator, LTS. The liquid is sent to the demethanizer through the GAT valve at a temperature of negative 56 Fahrenheit. Part of the gas is expanded in the expander to the demethanizer at a temperature of negative 97 Fahrenheit. The power of the turbine is used to drive the fuel gas compressor. The other portion of the gas is introduced to the subcooler before expanding to the demethanizer through the cold GAT valve. This is why the process is called gas subcooler process. With this subcooler, the ethane recovery can be greatly enhanced. As you can see, the lowest temperature of negative 148 Fahrenheit is created at the outlet of the cold GAT valve. From top of the column, the residue gas is first used to subcool the reflux and then used to precool the natural gas feed and finally is compressed in the compressor to boost the fuel gas pressure. Stream 21 and stream 23 are withdrawn in the middle of the column, and then both of them are reboiled in the side reboilers before returning back to the demethanizer. The reason of these two withdrawals is to increase the ethan recovery. NGL is extracted at the bottom of the tower. As you can see, in this example, 81.3% of ethan is recovered in this GSP process. There is no way for a GAT plant or mechanical refrigeration unit to achieve such a high ethan recovery. Thanks very much for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.